Hello ghouls! Welcome again to the Yarn Dungeon. I just got back from my afternoon coffee run and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go to Duncan today. It's been a while since I've been there. It's just a little bit further than any of the other coffee shops around me, but I was like, no, today I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna switch it up. I haven't tried any of their pumpkin stuff and I'm so freaking glad that I went because they had a bunch of their Halloween tumblers, their Halloween accessories, and they were chit-chatting about how the, the like spidery donut, where it's like a donut, and there's a donut hole in it and then they make the icing that look like the legs anyways it's coming back on the 11th of October and just so excited. It's one of those things where I love getting an entire box of those just to have around the house like I know there's gonna be other people that will eat it but like I just want the whole box. I want my house to smell like those donuts. It's so freaking good and screams Halloween to me. Obviously it screams Halloween to other people in the world too because they keep bringing it back and they're adding accessories now and this one I need it. Okay we, we have to get into that but first off we have some more tumblers to add to the yarn dungeon. Okay what did I get for a coffee? I'm all over the place today. So this is I told them I was like I don't want anything super sugary but since it's my afternoon coffee like I normally do a plain iced coffee but I do want a little pumpkin so like what can you do for me and they're like okay cool I got it let's do a cold brew we'll put a half a shot of the pumpkin spice in here and then a little bit of creamer if you want so I think it was like almond milk that they put in it is so delightful so freaking good I honestly wish that I would have got two of these just to have because I know I'm gonna drink this one super super quick but anyways they have three different tumblers for their Halloween line they are all the same as last year but I totally missed out I don't know what happened I just wasn't paying attention and then by the time I headed to Duncan last year they were all sold out and I was so so sad because they glow in the dark and you know that I'm a sucker for glow in the dark things there we go right there sticker glow in the dark and sun activated dang it it is a really cloudy overcast day so I don't know that we're gonna be able to see these glow in the dark oh my gosh that makes me so sad okay but this one anyways we're just gonna enjoy them for what they are today if I can't get them to glow I'm sure you and I will hang out rather soon and I will show you again another day so this is a 24 ounce tumbler and it says Duncan is my boo. It comes with a straw. Is this straw upside down? Oh, maybe it's how they store them because the bottom part here is like open. So they don't want people to like touch that part where you're gonna be drinking from. And then, cause yeah, I always have this on the inside. Cold beverage only, don't put it in the dishwasher, hand wash only, pretty safe to say that anything that is glow in the dark or sun activated, let's just hand wash it. Let's take care of it because we don't wanna destroy whatever it is that makes it sun activated. Anything else that we need to know before I, okay, wash before use, obviously, warm water. Don't put it in the microwave. In case you were wondering, don't throw this <laughs> plastic container in the microwave. Fragile if dropped. Cool, good to know, that's it. So first one that we have, Duncan is my boo with cutesy little ghosts all over. I'm gonna guess that this part here, like the ghosts and the wording, that's the part that glows in the dark. There isn't anything on the top. It's just a plain purple lid. I kind of like that they're see-through as well. Second one is an orange tumbler. I'm spooky before my Duncan. Some cutesy little cobwebs and a spider on the bottom. Nothing on the back here, together, very Halloween. And the last one, which is probably my favorite out of all three of them, it says, Hocus Pocus, I need my Duncan to focus a black tumbler with a black straw. That glows in the dark. So this one was just destined to be my favorite. And also it has sprinkles on the bottom and the back of it is just covered in sprinkles. So this one for sure is gonna have the most capability of glowing in the dark. I don't know if it's gonna be the best one, but it has the most chance of being the most luminescent 
in the middle of the night slash throughout the day as I use it and like activate it outside. So here is all of the tumblers that they have right this second. As the next thing, we have a brand new accessory for their lineup. We were just talking about the spider donuts. Well, they have a plushy keychain spider donut. How freaking cute is this thing? Got the little Duncan tag on the side. Totally gonna have to go into my project bag of which I have no idea where it's at at the moment. Maybe downstairs, maybe it's still in the car. I don't really know. I have a lot of different projects going right now. Like I just started a shawl this morning or like a wrap with the Muse 2320 yarn. I started that up so I had to grab another tote bag, get that ready. I have my Edgar Allan Poe thing going on. I have a couple of cardigans. I have a blanket. I have some pillowcases. Like I've got a lot of things going on all over the place. So pretty much every tote is full, which it doesn't really matter because this is gonna go with everything. <laughs> it makes me so excited for these donuts to come out. That is everything that I found in store. Now I need to pull up their website and show you what else they have going on. It dropped today at noon. The very first thing that pops up, there we go. What's on the Dunkin' menu? Oh, okay, here's a picture of it. So we have a couple different donuts and the spider donut right there. Pretty spot on, right? If you love the donut, you love the keychain plushie, you're gonna love this next thing. It is a spider donut inflatable. So we can all get this from their site, put it out in our yard and show everybody, not only do we love Halloween, but we love sugary goodness and spiders. Also, this lights up. Spiderweb Donut Inflatable uh, can light up. Duncan says that the very round decor is designed to don porches, lawns, front stoops, or even living rooms of donut lovers. So I didn't even think about that. This is going in my living room. Yeah. 100% I was all ready to redo the theme of my yard either my front or my back I didn't really care I was like whatever we need to like redo it it needs to be spooky treat themes now there's a lot of inflatables out there and a lot of like decor that I could find no we're switching it up it's gonna go in my living room Oh my gosh, how freaking perfect would this be though for a movie room? Spooky treats, spooky movies, it just goes together. Though it looks really cute in the yard with the little spider webs behind it. I do have a lot of spider webs and a lot of glow in the dark spider webs this year, like slimy green ones. So they're glow in the dark, but they're slimy green even by themselves. Uh, let me grab it actually. They just look like the greatest cotton candy ever. So yeah, it's slimy green cobwebs during the day and then it glows at night. This also needs to be activated by the sun. It's just been sitting in the yarn dungeon, so I need to get that going. But this with this behind it, what do we think? Because then it's like slime green and orange. I kind of love this. And I do have space. I did a big deep clean of my movie room last week because I was getting ready to do trick or treat, which this would go perfect with too because it's orange, trick or treat theme, and it's, okay, it's a sugary treat. This is happening. <laughs> I don't really know when it's gonna get shipped out, how quick it gets shipped out. This might be something that I'm gonna be putting together like the day of Halloween. I have no idea, but anyways, it's on their site. You can check it out and be like me and decorate your movie room with a giant spider donut. If you are a Dunkin' Donut ghoulie, I'm sure you already have the Dunkin' membership. So I had the app on my phone. Like I said, it's been a long time since I had been there. And every time I've gone recently, I totally forget to pull up my app. But I need to remember because from now until Halloween, they have a thing going on. Reward members can access a free medium hot or iced coffee on Mondays with purchase. So next Monday, you can go and get a coffee and get a donut and your coffee is free. There is more or $2 medium cold brew and a dollar off a half a dozen classic donuts. Awesome. There's a bunch of other stuff too. I'll just like link their site because they just dropped it today. There's like, here's a bunch of information. This has been going on since the beginning of October, I think, or maybe even like a little bit sooner. But they've had their pumpkin spice stuff out for a while now. They were like one of the first to put their fall menu out and they've kind of been doing it 
in waves. So we got the pumpkin spice that came back. Then the person that was working there did say these were out for about a week. So a week, maybe a little bit more, it's been out. Now today we have the donut inflatable and then next week the return of the donuts. Please, please, please tell me that you are also this freaking excited about the return of the spider donut. If you're like me and you missed out on them last year, go ahead and snag your favorite at your local Dunkin'. Don't miss out on these keychains. They are so freaking cute. If you're close to a Duncan and you wanna add this onto your project bag, make sure you go ahead and check these out. I'd say afternoon coffee, like that's perfect. Let's have an afternoon pumpkin spice coffee date with our new keychains. Okay, so that is officially it for today. Thank you for coming back though and having a little chit chat about all of the glow in the dark Halloween goodies that I found from Duncan. I'm gonna let you go. So thank you again for hanging out. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your pumpkin filled day and I will see you in my next video.